Oh god! <laughs> I did not see her right there! Hey, hey, good morning. Um, so it's the next day for my last video that you just probably watched if you didn't go watch it. Uh, we have that fourth set of twins. We are going to put the calving pen, the other calving pen over there, my arrow clip calving pen, um, over in that end and get her in and like check her milk one, see if she just has teeth that you can't tell if she's nursed. Cause sometimes cows do like, that's a part of it. Uh, Mom says they like bob around like crazy, but she has not seen them like latch yet. So we're just gonna <laughs> double check everything and then I gotta move the calving pen all the way into pen five anyway. So it'll just be at the end of the barn. Uh, yeah, <clears throat> so we might scrape the other way too. We'll see what happens and then we'll do chores. Also we're going to sort some peppers out today. Likely <laughs> do a bunch bunch of stuff so come along for all the fun good morning and twins super fun i would prop my phone somewhere but uh that's a pile too yeehaw see if she rides nice He's so focused. There she is. We'll put her in after this, but cow's gotta eat, so and I want it over here. Mama has so much milk. Sex like two is meant for twins. <laughs> He's hungry. You're acting like you're not, but don't know. It's yours. <laughs> you got the easy one now. Mine's on again. <laughs> Did it finally click in your brain? Put your head down. She's got a good amount, though. That girl. Happy little lady.
are so tough. How big of babies you have? Because you pooped them out in like four seconds. She was nice to me the whole time and then decides to take you out. There we go. Good news, she uh, it's nicer than last year. Last year I wanted to go tag her calf thinking it'd be the easiest thing in the whole world. And she tried to eat me. So, um, well, her numbers are kind of like that. You saw that with Chubby. So for that one, like, eats out of my snack, like, out of my hand. Like, comes across the field to get snacks. So I was a little mad at her last year, but what are you looking at? Just trying to find where Red is at. Oh, we were sitting back there. Yeah, but we're up now. Oh, good look. Find three hundred five. We'll find we're right five. here. All right, we're good then. Oh God! <laughs> I did not see her right there. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> I almost died right there. <laughs> she really wasn't even coming after you and no. trying to run and noticed. Woo! <laughs> I walked right up to her. That was fun. <laughs> Apparently you're not that bad, huh? Because you could have had your chance right there. You act tough. Her baby's in the back. I definitely thought she was back there because she was before. Not anymore. All right, folks. You saw me uh, panic for my life there. <coughs> Anyways. Waiting on dad. So I can go get feed for the twin mom. Mama's got food in the back. Everyone else has food here. Last load is being mixed. And the NDE as we speak. And everybody looks good. We're gonna have any new babies up today. So we'll see what happens today, I guess. Alright. Nothing going on yet. Our mama we induced is not doing much. I checked her. It's really hard to feel cows when they're laying down. Um, but feels like she's slowly moving baby up to birth canal. So we'll see. Uh, I'm going to go work out. Do a little bit of other work stuff. Edit a vlog. <laughs> and then uh, we'll come back and sort heifers and move bulls around. So finally found my list of heifers that we are keeping so we need to sort these ladies out of the uh pen three um in the outside lot so they're currently with all of the heifers so these ones did not get an implant um when we did that they got a green tag some of them have lost their green tag so i need to have their numbers so that's the original sheet i wrote down when we processed in january and then this is the order based on like tag color that way it's easy and they're in like numerical order so red tags we have one orange tag we're keeping and then those are my blue tags the heifers really like to go play in the alleyway so we're hoping to just use a gate and kind of like open it and just filter in anybody that's not a replacement heifer let them go down the alleyway and they can go play and run around like idiots because they're going to and then anybody that has a green tag or is on this list will go straight across into that front shed by the tub chute I don't know if we'll get them actually like vaccinated today or not, but we for sure need to get them sorted off so we can get them on cow feed so they're not as chunky going into breeding season. Also get them their vaccination and move all of the uh, feedlot heifers that are not going to be kept as replacements up to step three of four um, in the rations. So they're going to start getting chunky. Our placement heifers, we don't want to get any chunkier than they are because a lot of the uh, them are the biggest heifers in there because they are some of our like best performing ones that's why we're keeping them as replacements so hopefully like the generations they produce beyond this are even better so um we do have epd data on pretty much every single one of these heifers which is really exciting um and we selected them because of that and also just like knowing how they look, how their moms are, docility when they came to the shoot, their, you know, rate of gain, growth, how they looked all year. Um, all of those factors go together to choose our replacement. So there's 26 total, hoping that 23, 24 of them will be pregnant when we uh, preg check later this summer. After we put bull in or AI or whatever I end up doing um, with them ladies in May, and then they'll be due next year around Valentine's Day. So... But I'm going to go work out quick. I've had pre-workout. I'm like ready to rock. And then uh, we'll go have fun with sorting heifers. 
back in the bullpen reinforced. We put the hay out of here. That way uh, the bulls aren't reaching through that. Dad's having fun tearing things up. Windbreaks are chained and such. Getting the gate out of here and then we'll move the bulls from over there to here. This is that fountain we cleaned. And then we can move peppers. Wow, we didn't get stuck. Eduardo. Hi. Come on, boys, let's go. Let's go, Kyle. I didn't bring her. You shall not cross. <laughs> <laughs> you shall not pass. <laughs> pop, 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 pop. Let's go. Hey. Baldy. <laughs> go. Pop. Pop, 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 pop. <laughs> Kyle. Kevin. Oh, that's Kevin. Kevin does try to be a jerk to them, so it's probably deserved. Okay, now they have lots of exercise, or lots of space to fight and be dumb. Come in, huh? Watch out. Uh. Jesse does have a little bit of a hitch in his gitch, so they must have hit him good at some point. But he's fighting like nothing's wrong, so... Three. I'm number three. I'm number five. I'm number five. <laughs> get him, Ed. Get him. <laughs> the yearlings are such jerks. Oh, now Kevin's going to beat on Kyle. Well, there goes Baldy after a hole. What a time. Holes are sorted. They got through their five minutes of being jerks to each other. And now Mom and I are going to go at this alleyway gates and sort some heifers. So, see how that goes. <laughs> All the ones we uh, don't want and don't need. So that's where all the heifers are. They're up, up here where the bulls were, <clears throat> which is also better because the bulls are trying to cross through the bunk. <sighs> we gotta change the cables there into pipe in the near future, unless we just, we have, I don't know, ideas, so. But all the heifers are in here. You got one licking it, you got one rolling it around. <laughs> Who is it? It's, oh, I thought it was A15 in the bucket. It's not A15 no, it's in the bucket. Oh, it's one of the oldest calves. He's a tank. Somebody's gonna eat my stick. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Ooh. 
This is why we do nothing really fast. Can you imagine him at like, ugh. What's it? Nathan's experiencing how cute the calves are. Nice sweatshirt. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. That's what we uh, get for having friends at NDE, huh? And he's get, got his hat, wow. I get clothes and hats. Wow. That's a wrap on the day. It was, uh, we did have a new calf, so I don't even know if I recorded that, to be honest. <laughs> I don't think I did. Whoops! Uh, 2311, so a second calver calves um, while we were sorting. All of a sudden came in there and I heard somebody crying like they had a baby. And yep, in pen two with Miss Cycle herself. <laughs> uh, big old bull calf. He's running around like crazy already. So he's healthy and she's good to go. She's actually our smallest framed cow, so. That's how you know that our cows can handle big calves because we average, I mean, 90, 95 pounds in general. So, outside of that, it's nice out. It's like 55 degrees and gorgeous. The wind's coming up now because it's typical Midwest. It's going to be windy again. Uh, Nathan and I dewormed the two horses, Nellie and Rooster, that were in the hoop barn. And we're going to go deworm the other four hooligans at our house quick. Um, but I uh, will keep you posted if anything exciting happens in the next vlog so make sure you hit that subscribe button let me know if you have any questions and we'll see you next time there's proof of the new calf later in the video obviously later in the night too but proof that our cows can have one calf at a time <laughs>